Right, so in this video I'm going to attach an animation to the player. Um, so first of all I'm going to add a couple lines to the framework. Go down to the this.setRow and setColumn function inside of the framework. On mine it's around line 300 to 304 or so. And we're going to add this.crop prop position.x is equal to this.width multiplied by this dot column and uh, likewise we're going to do this dot crop position dot y is equal to this dot height multiplied by this dot row now we can copy those two lines and bring them down inside of the set column function and that is all we need to do for the framework so now we're going to go into the actual player function um, and update it. So first we're going to add a boolean up here, this.moving. We'll use this for the animation to stop it and uh, play it only when the player is moving. You don't want it to animate while he's just standing in place. So instead of the update function, at the very top we're going to say this.moving is equal to false. And down inside of the input, we're going to add a couple brackets. We're going to add a code block around the input dot A and D. And inside of there, at the very top of it, we're going to say this dot animation dot set row to, you may recall this from last time we did this, and this dot moving is equal to true. Now we're going to do the same thing in the next input, except we're going to do this.animation.setRow equal to 0, and this.moving is equal to true. So the next part is that we have to update the animation itself. Um, also, I forgot that we have to actually add the animation I'm using this I'm going to be using this line from uh, the last time we did it so this dot animation is equal to new animation 16 16 0 0 8 the source file mario dot png 12 for 12 frames per second and 4 by 5 so now let's go back down instead of the uh, draw let's comment out this dot rect draw and let's add in this dot animation dot draw and pass in the context then down here at the end of our update let's add a uh, let's add a couple lines one is going to be this dot animation dot position dot set remember we made this function in the vector 2 so this dot rect dot x and this dot rect dot y because we're updating the rect when we do input so if this dot moving then this dot animation dot update otherwise this dot animation dot set we're going to set the column to 0 so this will set the column of the animation to zero, which is the standing still position if you look at the image. So uh, let's check our code and see if it worked out. Um, I need to update my login. Refresh it, and there he is. He moves really fast. We can't really see the animation because he's moving too fast. So, one, let's lower the gravity so he doesn't fall so fast, and uh, let's put his move on the X and Y, or the X when we push down the keys to one. Let's set his gravity to two. All right, and let's go ahead and play that. See how that looks? That's better. Now you can see he's moving. Um, he's a little bit off of the ground because we haven't adjusted his rectangle so if we go back into the rectangle here at the top let's change these both to 16 because now he's 16 by 16 and let's refresh now he's down on the floor you can see when I move he uh, does the proper animations 
and he'll fall off the side too. So uh, that is that is it for this one. And the next video, when I get around to it, we will do uh, some jumping so that we can make him jump. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is it.